So if you don't have a grayscale sketch yet, you can pick up any black and white kind of picture from the internet just to practice how to turn a grayscale sketch to a colored one. And if you want to know how to actually create a grayscale sketch, and if you want a tutorial on that, I can definitely make that for you guys. So here's the sketch that I created. Now because Sketchbook doesn't have a clipping mask kind of function, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a new layer above the sketch. And here we are going to be turning the layer mode to soft light. Now we can actually play around with layer modes later on as well. But for now, I'm just choosing soft light as my layer mode. So I'm just going to be picking up a skin color and I'm going to keep the hue around uh, or in the middle of the orange color and the red color like this. And let's see what color I'm going to pick. This one, this looks fine. It's going to desaturate this a little bit. And then I'm just going to start coloring over the skin. And the brush is not at all powerful, so I'm just going to change the brush that I'm using. This is not doing too much, but we have to start somewhere. So I'm just going to start with this brush and soft light as the lay mode. So I'm just going to paint the whole skin like this. Now, um, once you have colored the skin, we'll be coloring everything else after this. But let's just say you, are, you have colored the skin part. Now you can actually go ahead play around with layer modes to see what layer mode looks good. So this obviously doesn't look good, like, this, like covering most of the details of the face. I'm just going to try overlay. Looks fine, overlay looks fine. I'm just going to try each and every one of these. So just to see what looks the best. This looks a little too much also. And I guess it'll work out if we just kind of Decrease opacity. I'm gonna try soft glow. No, I'm gonna try screen. Nope. Wow, I missed a lot of places because a lot of places just had white. So it'll be a good idea to start with light gray color as your base whenever you're painting a gray scaled sketch. I'm still learning it, so yeah. I think this looks good. Multiply looks like skin, to be honest. And what we can do is we can just decrease the opacity but then it looks washed out. Maybe I need to change the color of the skin. So I'll be filling the other parts as well, the parts where I missed, and I'll be changing the skin color and I'll be back. So I colored all the gaps and I actually ended up liking the skin color, so I'm just gonna keep it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna follow the similar steps for everything here. So I'm just gonna create another layer and I'm gonna again change it to soft light first and if you want you can just go straight ahead to multiply if you want that and I'm just gonna pick up a color for her hair and I'm gonna start adding hair sorry start adding color to the hair so I'm gonna do that so basically the uh, trick here or the first step would be just to start adding colors to these shapes or whatever you have the parts of your drawing sorry by changing the layer mode either to soft light or multiply now this color looks really really dark because obviously we are using multiply as our layer mode so i'm just going to change this to soft light and just try it out and it's lighter than what it was so i'm just going to keep this color for now i might change it later i might change the layer mode later but for now i'm just coloring the hair with this brush and i gotta be careful because i don't want to mess where the skin is but unfortunately I'm just going to keep this layer underneath the skin layer like this so that we don't mess the skin up. I'll be back after coloring the hair. So once you have added all the colors, as you guys can see, I have used multiply for everything, even for the top, the scarf, the hair, the hair looking good. Now we have to actually add details. Now, if we were to add details using multiply layer mode, it's just, it's just going to turn out to be um, really, really dark. So I am, what I'm going to try doing is, I'm just going to create another layer for details and change the layer mode to soft light. Let's just start with the lip color because right now she is looking dull. We have to add some color to the lips. Now, if you do soft light, as you guys can see, it is turning the dark color of the skin 
into this really nice pink color but it's a little too light so I might change it to a darker pink like this and I'm just gonna start adding this color so that's how you actually are going to be adding more details even though it looks good as is but I wanna kind of add some color to the skin because right now it's looking too dull okay there's like no color no pink color on the skin so we're starting with lips and right now it is not really blending out with the rest of the skin so the trick to fix that is to pick up your colorless brush decrease the opacity and decrease the size of the brush go over the edges of the lips like that and it will merge the lips with the skin as if they belong to just one face they should not look harsh like that so this should look soft as if they're blending in with the skin with the rest of the skin like this now the shadow underneath it or shadow in general on the face or looking very very grayish again so the first thing i am going to be doing is pick up my soft airbrush in the same color i'm gonna add this pink color over those shadows just to add more color to her face i always increase the size of the brush so that i'm covering a larger area like that on the nose you don't have to do much just go over those black looking shadows like that and you're good to go now i'm gonna do the same thing what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pick up the skin color like this and i'm gonna um pick a saturated shadow of the same you and on the same layer i am gonna go over with this color over these black looking shadows all right like that and I'll just lightly touch over those shadows, okay, like that, so that we don't need to blend it out later. So as you guys can see, I'm going over the shadow part around the mouth as well, a little bit. So now we have some color on the face, and it's not looking too dull. Just going over every shadow I've created on the eye area as well, like that. Now I'm gonna pick a very light color for the white part of the eye and we're just gonna add that color there right now it's looking too gray too gray to be true eyes are usually not like that so uh, if I had to summarize you have to first change the layer modes to multiply and add colors and then once you're done with adding colors and once you're done with adding colors in the multiply layer mode you have to create a new layer and change the layer mode to soft light to add details like this okay and i am going to be adding a blue color for the eyes blue green whatever color you want to add i'm just confused i'm just going to pick up a desaturated blue and add it here it turned gray because of the lay mode which is completely fine i'm gonna pick up a brownish kind of color for what for the eyebrows okay just gonna add some color on the brows oh this looks crazy i'm gonna add a dark brown color I'm going to use my airbrush because it just covers a larger area in just one go. I'm going to add a little bit of brown around the eyes like that. Around here as well. The same brown that I use for eyebrows. And the same thing we're going to be doing for the rest of the body as well. For the shadows. I'm just going to pick up the uh, dark brown kind of color I picked up for the skin. Maybe it's a little different. And I'm going to pick up a actual skin kind of color. And going to be adding that the lighter parts of the skin just to make it look like skin a little bit because right now again because we used uh multiply label it looks just dead i gonna add it wherever i think i've added too much dark color now we're gonna be doing the same thing for this scarf as well we're gonna be picking up a warm kind of color and adding it wherever we have the shadow parts in okay i think i'm gonna add it on the multiplied layer just adding this color over all the shadows so that it just doesn't look very dead or black and white kind of a look which I'm not really liking and going back to soft light picking up a white color slightly just adding it to add some color back and some life back to the scarf as well and I love like softer brush because then you do not really need to go back and blend it okay I like that we're doing it the scarf is also done kind of feeling i have this feeling to do it 
on the top as well just a little bit just a touch of white color so i i like the pencil texture that we have got going on so i'm gonna keep it for the hair as well you can do the same and just lightly add some light colored hair strokes now on the layer where the layer mode is normal i'm gonna add highlights and also add some more eyelashes or darken the existing ones and pick up white color your favorite brush and start adding highlights so i'm starting with the eye And you are done with the coloring part of it that's how you turn a grayscaled picture or a painting into a colored one and in the next coming videos I'm gonna teach you how to actually make your painting look even more beautiful by editing it in a where we edit photos and how to edit your paintings in, in these photo editing softwares or app and how to make your paintings look even better than they already are so stay tuned for those. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this sketchbook tutorial. If you did, then give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.